everybody. Welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. First of all, I want to apologize for the shadowing in, in the video. Um, every time I, 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 it's very hard for me to tape or, or film um, at nighttime because there's such a shadow. Even, even if you have all the lights on, it's just something about uh, filming at night that you just can't get adequate light. But uh, I wanted to share with you something I'm going to make for my front door. Um, I came up to my craft room last night and thought I'd just mill around for some inspiration and looked on the computer and, and looked at things that I had. And sure enough, I come up with something. And uh, these are uh, the supplies that I'm going to use. Um, these little tool rolls I got at Walmart a few weeks ago in the fabric department. They were a dollar a roll. There's quite a bit on there. Um, there's actually 10 yards and I doubt I'll use that much, but so I've probably got enough to make a couple wreaths if, if they turn out good. But um, the white, green, and red, and I will tell you that the glitter does come off of it quite a bit, so uh, just be fair warned of that. Um, and what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the center of my wreath. It is a wooden charger plate that I've had. I've actually got a couple of these, and I'm going to paint this in chalkboard paint. And, uh, and that's going to be the center of my wreath. And then the tool I'm going to attach around it. And, um, but I just wanted to show you these little wood charger plates. I've had these a couple years. I know I got them at a thrift store. Um, it's, they started out at $8 at Walmart, uh, $7.97, marked down to $1.25. And then I got them at the thrift store for $0.75. Cents. So I'm going to paint this with chalk paint. So you need some chalk. Um, I went down the garage and got just, instead of a picture hanger, I just... Uh, I can nail or hot glue a Coke tab for my hanger. And this is some chalk paint that I picked up at t uh, Marshall's um, a, about a month or so ago. Um, and, I bought, and, uh, and we'll see how that does. It was $3.99 for this little pint of it. And I'm anxious to see how that works out. A little sponge brush and a glue gun. And so let me grab the other little plate that I told you I had. So I went ahead and did step one, and uh, I just, I didn't paint the back because it wasn't really necessary. I just painted the edges, but I'm really impressed. I mean, this was one light coat of the chalkboard paint, and so um, I think that's going to, well, I think once is plenty. I don't see any shadowing or any grains of wood or anything, and so this chalkboard paint really doesn't have a brand, but I will show you what it looks like. The If you can see the... It just says chalkboard paint, and it was over kind of in the stationery. You know, a lot of those Marshalls and Teji Maxes have like a little bitty craft section, and that's where that's where I found it for three ninety nine. So, uh, so after I paint that, I'm going to cut these little strips of tulle in about six inch strips, and then um, uh, and then I'll come back with you after I get I think enough to go around the the edges of the plate. Okay. All right, I am back and I've got some of my tool cut and I want to show you uh, the quickest way I found to cut this tool. Um, after I unwrapped it, I was gonna try to do the ruler and all that and it just got to be more trouble than it's worth. So um, I noticed that the rolls of the tool were right about six inches itself. So what I did is I just kind of eyeballed it, the length of the, of the tube and not exactly perfect, so each strip is probably right at six or seven inches long, something like that, okay? So just to show you, that was kind of the quickest, most efficient way I found to cut the little squares. So my squares are probably six by seven, something like that, okay? And so let me get these tools out of the way, and I'm going to, um, this is what I did with all of them. I took each, I took each, um, square and I just tied a little knot in the center of it because I tried you know as I thought if I just kind of gather it up and hot glue it around the plate it would just be some would some would catch and some wouldn't so I just gathered it up no rhyme or reason and just tied it in one simple over under knot like that and that way that gives my hot glue a little knot to hot glue to, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hot glue these little knots all around the back of the plate, okay? And and I cut out 20 of each color. I don't know if that's too much or not enough, but I'd rather have too much and I can always throw it away since this stuff is so cheap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I've got 20 of them knotted of the red, white, knotted and now I got to finish knotting my green and then I'll be ready as soon as my hot glue gun is hot enough and then I'll start um, uh, hot gluing them around the plate. 
Okay, I got my green finish knotted, and I went ahead and started my little pattern. Just wanted to show you that um, that I'm just just hot gluing the little knot uh, on the edge of the plate. I'm so glad I knotted them because that just gives me perfect control over where the the puff of tool goes. I'm just putting just a dot of hot glue because the hot glue works real well with wood, and I'm putting them pretty snug. So I'm, you know, I want it to be as full as possible. So, and I'm just going to repeat the pattern, red, white, green, red, white, green, all the way around. And then I'll flip it over and show you what it looks like. Okay, I have all my little knotted squares uh, hot glued. And I have the knots are actually touching each other is how uh, close I got them. And I actually, this is a nine and a half plate. And I used uh, right at 17 of each color. So just keep that in mind. If you find a little, some little wooden plaque or something to, to chalkboard paint, um, that mine is nine and a half, and I used 20 uh, squares or 17 of each square. So um, just depends on. But I wouldn't want it much smaller than this if you're going to hang it on the front door. But anyway, I really like the look of the knot showing, and this is the back of the plate. Um, and so I could have chalkboard either both sides and then changed it up, you know, a different look. But anyway, but here is the other side. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm swatting at is some gl some loose glitter. I mean, I love the look of this glitter. And uh, but that's just, you know, part of it. When you're working with glitter, it kind of gets everywhere. But that kind of adds to the festive part of it and, and makes it look cute. So now the hard part is is to take the chalk and write uh, Merry Christmas on there with a little ivy. You know, even though I taught first graders penmanship, I cannot, I have the worst left-handed chicken scratch is what I used to call it. But anyway, if I really, you know, take my time, I, I'll try to try to do the best I can. And in worst case scenario, I'll get my daughter to do it. She has beautiful handwriting and, uh, and go from there. But anyway, uh, after I figure out where the top of my saying is, is when I will hot glue my Coke can tab on there, and that'll be my hanger. So anyway, I'll get back with you after I get it all completed and hung on the door. Okay, I have finished my wreath. If you will notice that I did uh, change up my hanger just a little bit. I didn't like it just hanging from the door plain, and I just it needed something else. So I just took about a 20 inch piece of tool and stapled it to the back and just added a few more little uh, squares of tulle up at the top to make a little knotted poof. And I just really think it finished it off and makes it just hang and look a little better. Um, the, the chalk, uh, I just used a chalk pencil. You can, I had a, some sticks of chalk and chalk pencil and I just took a baby wipe and kind of practiced a few times. And I, I just love that chalk paint if you come across it at uh, Marshall's or TJ Maxx. I, let's see, I think it was Marshall's that I got it. But a very, very easy, one thin coat, and it just worked out great. I wiped it off a few times, and, and I wish I'd have centered up that Mary a little bit, but it's okay. And I just love the fact that I can use this on a, uh, another year, just change the date, uh, put welcome. I mean, I can do all sorts of things for holidays, Christmas holidays, with these colors and this chalkboard sign. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, seriously, it cost me less than three or four dollars to make it because I have enough tool to make another one and another plate. So, uh, if you come across a little round wooden plaque, you could certainly do this. So, I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.